Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always a privilege to come your way with prophetic messages from the Lord. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that the Lord will use this channel to minister to you prophetically to help you know the Lord better in Jesus' mighty name. Please kindly consider becoming a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever we are live, you're not going to miss out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Someone you know, a well-renowned person is getting divorced. Now, we live in, um, in, in days where divorces are very rampant separations are very rampant but this divorce right here is going to be one that is, will be advantageous to you someone is separating from their partner because of you because you have to get into a position because you have to you have to have access to a particular position now god, god gave me this in two dimensions there is someone that has not been able to actually settle they have not been able to maintain their relationships. They have not been able to have good marriages because they have spiritual spouses. Either a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife. And what the spiritual um, wife and husband, what they do is that they are very jealous beings. They can't stand you being in a romantic relationship with an, the opposite sex. So they are going to do everything they can to spoil it. They are going to try to spoil it. They, you know, all of a sudden they just get up. They have anger management issues. They break the relationship. They just, you know, they find every and any reason to end that relationship god says he is delivering some someone from he is divorcing someone from spiritual spouse that is spiritual husband and spiritual wife he is divorcing you from them so that you can be able to be stable in a relationship you can be able to to be stable in a marriage when this spiritual husband or wife is around it becomes very difficult for you to have a relationship it's like they, they, they specialize in making sure that, not that it's like, that is, they are jealous. Each time they see you romantically attracted to somebody, they don't want that. And so they are going to cause conflicts and resolutions, uh, 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 conflicts to make sure that that relationship breaks. But as you listen to the sound of my voice right now, you're connected in your spirit. God is divorcing you from any kind of spiritual spouse in the mighty name of Jesus, be it a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband today is the day of your divorce you are getting divorced from those spirits in the mighty name of jesus and the second one god told me is someone who is renowned is about to get divorced because of you it is your time to get into power it is your time to get into to 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 get in authority and the lord reminded me of the story of vashti you know vashti was queen bird there was really nothing um there was no great assignment that vashti had to do esther had a great assignment saving of the of the jew and so something had to be done sometimes i feel like vashti was just a victim of circumstance it just so happened that she was she found herself in that place and she did the wrong thing at the wrong time and 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 the wrong thing happened to her and so vashti's divorce was or separation had been dethroned or had been removed as as queen was very important for the jew if not the plan of Haman, Haman to wipe out the Jew would have happened. But God strategically caused it that Vashti be disobedient and that she be removed as queen. And Esther should take her place because there was a divine agenda. There was something that God wanted to do with the hands of Esther. And it could not happen if Vashti was still queen. And so God says, somebody is about to be divorced. And you are about to take that position.
It is for a great good. You've got to prepare yourself to rule. You've got to prepare yourself to do the counsel of God. You've got to prepare yourself to do the Lord's bidding because you're not getting there to achieve your own agenda. You are going there to achieve the agenda of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is your time to reign. It is your time to get in authority. It is your time to get in power. And I pray that God will empower you even as you take this new face in your life. I know that it's not very right that for somebody to succeed, another person goes down. But sometimes God does that for his own reasons. You might, you know, the Bible says there is no searching of God's understanding. You cannot really begin to understand why he would do that. And you cannot question God. You can ask questions to God like, why do things happen like that? But you cannot question him and say, Lord, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't have done. Or why, you know, you cannot question God, but you can ask him questions because he is ultimate. Hallelujah. I pray that everything that is, that is happening about that divorce happens in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you will not lose your place. When God gives you that place, you will keep it in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.